Hello everybody, it's everyone's favourite feisty feline, Zephas Grace Paws here. If you're new around here, why not subscribe and ring that bell for more furry fandom related content. Also, why not join my Discord community, link in the description. Today we're heading back to the furry subreddits to see some of the best posts of September 2019. I am trapped between different worlds. I am neither a man nor a wolf. So I suffer as both with a primal spirit and crippling student loan debt. <laughs> Oh, this is a big hit in the relatable. I'm quite lucky that in the UK there's a minimum that you have to earn over, like there's a certain amount you need to earn over to uh, start paying it back. So I don't have to worry about that just yet, but I know that one day I'm going to end up having to pay it off. And it's quite considerable. <laughs> it's done! I hate this. <laughs> this is literally me when it comes to anything sort of creative that I do, especially my videos. Like when I'm working on a video, when I've got a plan for a video, when I script out a video, I'm super excited for how it's going to go. And then when it's done and released, I end up just disliking it and moving it on to the next thing. I don't know what it is. I always feel as though maybe I could have done it better or if next time I do it, I'll do something better. But it's that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Nice Club Penguin sticker. I'm going to do this from now on to oppress Linux users. <laughs> I love this. I'm totally going to start doing this. Besides, Club Penguin is better than Linux anyway. Fun fact, I once asked Jeff Good, creator of Jake Long American Dragon, at FurryCon, how do you feel about people making lewd art of your characters? He said, oh, Disney sat me down and showed me a bunch of Kim Possible porn and said, this will happen to your show. Three things I find hilarious about this. One, Jeff Good goes to furry cons. Two, Disney acknowledges and prepares show creators that their show will most definitely become porn. Three, Disney has examples on hand of how said show will definitely become this is great, I love the idea of a ton of Disney executives just chilling on Rule 34 or E621, just looking for Kim Possible stuff and, and like all that, and just so they can show it to people, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> now I love this patch, apparently this is the thing that the furries who went to the Area 51 thing on the 20th September were wearing, and I really love to have one of these, so if anyone knows where I can get one, please let me know in the comments down below. The new furry movie Fox has no visible genitals. I'm glad there'll be no one of him. Nick Wilde, 12,447. <laughs> you fools, if there is an anthropomorphic character in movies or TV, regardless of whether they have visible genitals, you are guaranteed there will be one of that character. <laughs> the first person to become a furry was like, oh, oh, ooh, ooh, oh, oh. Me watching shows with anthro characters as a little kid. This is fine. Me, 13 years later, jerking it to furry <laughs> This evolved into a big f***ing problem. <laughs> so, what do you like to draw? Well... Wait, it's not furries, is it? <laughs> Just kid... I get like this whenever it comes to meeting new people and talking about my YouTube stuff. Like, all of my co-workers know that I make YouTube videos and stuff, but I refuse to tell any of them what I really do other than variety stuff, I think is the most I ever really go into detail. And whenever they ask for my channel, I always just flat out refuse to tell them my channel name. It'd be so embarrassing, I do not need those two worlds colliding. Hey, your character is kinda over pup. Young furry role players. You dare oppose me, mortal. When resetting your router doesn't work and your family asks, what now? <laughs> this is literally me when I'm at work. Like my go-to is always, have you tried turning it off and on again? Because sometimes that does genuinely work. And when they say yes, but it's still not working, my gut reaction is always just to shrug. Like I've literally got no idea where to go for it from there. Now this is a piece of art from Kenket and it looks so cool. I love that awesome Fallout aesthetic uh, mixed with the kind of furry characters and it just looks so cool. I've never really played a Fallout game until a little while back when Squirrel Girl DGT was playing Fallout 76 and she got me into it and I loved it. I spent so many hours in that game, it was super fun. Problem is I got a little burnt out at the end but it, it was genuinely awesome and I think I'd like to go back and play it again at some point but it's just a matter of A, finding time and B, finding the, the desire to go back to, to Fallout. But honestly, it was really, really cool and I would love to go back and play the other Fallout games. This is a super cute photo here from the Ninja Nero. I love the adorable plushy fairy character driving the car, it's so cute. 
I'd love to get a cute Zephas plush, that'd be so awesome. Well, it's two months to Halloween and nobody's posting spooky drawings. So this was posted at the end of last month and it's so true, we need more spook posting in the furry subreddits. This is an awesome drawing of the furry subreddit's mascot as a full anthro character and it looks so cute. It's got a real changed aesthetic to it, like it looks super good alongside Puro. So this is a post from the user Tim Lake Zero showing how their art has improved over the last two years and it really shows that hard work and dedication really pays off. If you enjoy any kind of art or craft, stick at it even if you're not very good to begin with as you will improve over time. This just shows that. Fairies commissioning NSFW art for the first time. Uh, um, and maybe make them naked? Fairies commissioning NSFW art for the 50th time. Yo, let me get a big penis. So there we go, those are some of the best posts from the furry side of Reddit for September 2019. Thank you to all the people featured in the video, keep up the good work. Remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay.